guys, it's Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna share with you 12 useful phrases that you should know as a foreigner here in Japan. So, let's start off with the greetings. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. There are two ways to say good morning in Japanese. The casual way, which is Ohayo, Ohayo. And then the formal way, which is Ohayo gozaimasu, Ohayo gozaimasu. Which one to use when you are here in Japan? I suggest using the formal way which is Ohayo gozaimasu, Ohayo gozaimasu. The next one is good afternoon. Good afternoon in Japanese is Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa. There are no formal way or casual way of saying good afternoon in Japanese. It is just Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. The next one is good evening. Good evening in Japanese is konbanwa, konbanwa. As you might hear it, it's like konbanwa. The N on the second syllable is missing, but you can also say konbanwa, konbanwa is also okay. The next phrase that I want to share with you is this. Sumimasen, sumimasen, sumimasen. It can mean excuse me, pardon, or I'm sorry. So let's say for example you are walking on the streets and then you bumped into somebody and you want to say sorry. Ah, simasen is okay. It means I'm sorry. Another one that I have for you is let's say you are talking with somebody and she is telling you something that you didn't get you can say sumimasen mo ikkai itte kudasai sumimasen mo ikkai itte kudasai it means pardon could you please repeat that again so one more time guys sumimasen mo ikkai itte kudasai sumimasen mo ikkai itte kudasai it means Pardon, could you please repeat that again? Next is, let's say, you want to go to Shuri Station and you want to ask someone. This is how you say it. Sumimasen, Shuri eki wa doko desu ka? Sumimasen, Shuri eki wa doko desu ka? It means, excuse me, where is the Shuri Station? So, in this case, sumimasen means excuse me. The next one that I have for you is the word thank you. There are two ways to say thank you in Japanese, just like the way we say good morning in Japanese. The formal way is arigato gozaimasu, arigato gozaimasu. The casual way, arigato. Again, guys, you might ask me, oh, Jane, which one to use? Which is better to use? So, I suggest using the formal way, which is arigato gozaimasu, arigato gozaimasu. The next phrase that I'm gonna share with you is very important, most especially when, let's say, you got lost here in Japan. It's very easy, so let's do it together. Nani nani, or blank. Wa doko desu ka? Let's say you wanna go to a department store and you don't know where. All you have to say is, Sumimasen, excuse me, where is the department store? Sumimasen, departo wa doko desu ka? Or let's say you wanna go to a supermarket. Sumimasen, supermarketo wa Doko desu ka? Let's say you want to go to a pharmacy. Sumimasen. Yakyoku wa doko desu ka? Sumimasen. Yakyoku wa doko desu ka? Guys, if you haven't watched my video about places in Japanese, please watch it here. The next phrase that I'm gonna share with you is very important when you are buying something at a supermarket or at a department store. The word is kore wo kudasai. 
これをくださいこれ means this and ください means please so one more time これ means this and ください means please let's say you are at a department store and you wanna buy a dress let's say this dress you wanna buy this dress or you wanna try it on and you want a new one you can just say sumimasen kore wa kudasai sumimasen kore wa kudasai it means excuse me this one please and then you may try it on if you want after trying it on and you wanna buy it you can say which is our next phrase you can say kore wo kaimasu kore wo kaimasu guys kore means this kaimasu or the root word of kaimasu is kau means buy so one more time kore wo kaimasu kore wo kaimasu Another word that is very important when you are shopping is, of course, you want to know how much is the dress. Let's say the, the price tag is not here, let's say. Okay, so you want to know how much is this dress. All you have to say is, which is our next phrase, Kore wa ikura desu ka? Kore wa ikura desu ka? Kore means this. Ikura means how much. The next phrase that I have for you is blah 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 wa arimasu ka? Blah 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 wa arimasu ka? Do you have mm, something? Do you have something? Let's say you want an eye drop. All you have to say is sumimasen. Megusuri wa arimasu ka? Megusuri wa arimasu ka? Or anything like if you want a box of mask, for example, sumimasen, mask wa arimasu ka? Mask wa arimasu ka? Excuse me, do you have mask? And then if the pharmacist says yes, we have hi arimasu yo. Yes, we have hi arimasu yo. And then you say how many bottles do you want? Let's say one, two, or three. Let's say just one. Ippon kudasai. Guys, if you haven't watched my video about counting in Japanese, please watch it here. The last phrase that I'm gonna share with you and is commonly used here in Japan is the word daijoubu. Daijoubu. Daijoubu can mean I'm okay or no thanks. Let's say you bump into somebody. You bumped. Ah, sumimasen. It means, I'm sorry. And then the person you bumped into says, ah, Daijoubu desu. It means, I'm okay. The next example that I have for you is, let's say, you bumped into somebody and then all the things that you have with you fell down on the ground. And then that person who bumped into you wants to help you pick up those things. But it's okay for you not to get some help from that person all you have to say is ah, daijoubu desu with the gesture like this ah, daijoubu desu it means no thank you it's okay not to help me kyo wa kore de owari desu if you want me to tackle some topics that i haven't tackled yet please comment in the comment section down below and please don't forget to subscribe as well see you in my next video goodbye